Hello, hello, welcome. Sandy, you made it. <laughs> oh no, I can't hear you. Oh, you're Mickey Mouse right now. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties tonight. So thank you ladies for being here with us. I love it. We have lots of you guys on with us already. I'm so excited you're here. Oh, let's see. Is she back normal? I don't know. Is you're it good. normal? <laughs> you're good. Oh, you're yeah. normal. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Wow, that timer really had me a little anxious. Okay, so hello. <laughs> Okay, welcome everybody. We're so excited. I was having some tech difficulties. We made it just in time. We're, and you're all here just in time. Yay! It is Makeup Masterclass number three. And this one is so exciting. We love this one. So this one is when you wake up late or you have a frazzled day. Like that was just part of this whole planning process, I think. When you wake up kind of frazzled, like you have to make yourself look presentable, right? So here, me and Ryan are naked with no makeup. In fact, um, I even forgot my moisturizer. I washed my face and forgot my moisturizer. So we're going to go through a quick, holy smokes, can you see me, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Okay, because I can't see you. I don't know what's going on with my computer right now. <laughs> so oh, no. <laughs> okay, as long as you can see me, I'll just keep talking. Just let me know. Okay, so we want to say this look today is about for those of you who wake up late and you just want to look kind of fresh and not frazzled. So fresh, not frazzled. That's the goal today. Perfect. And we want to welcome all of our YouTubers that are out there because we actually are so excited that you are here today because we shared it with some of our people that aren't registered. So if you're watching on YouTube and you didn't register, you're not going to have the samples that Ryan is about to tell you about in a second. So just so that you know, we um, will have Ryan will go through our little checklist. But if you're watching on YouTube, you're totally welcome to stay here with us to learn these great tips. And we actually have a couple beauty hacks. And I thought of another one, Ryan, too, that I'm going to share at the end. Um, so we're going to talk about how to get camera ready or dash out the door. That's our dash out the door look. And Ryan, I'm going to turn it over to you. Oh, I forgot to mention if you guys want to stay late. Not late, but this is going to be a super fast class. This is like five minutes dash out the door <laughs> with some beauty hacks. But if you want to stay a little bit for a few minutes after we're done, you're going to get an entry into our, what is it, Ryan? Tell them what it is. Our Kiss the Summer Hello Prize Extravaganza. Yay! We're <laughs> super excited. Do you have any of your prizes handy? We can show them why they would want to be on that. Yeah, let me just scooch away. Okay, you scooch away. away. I, I can talk. So our Kiss the Summer Hello Party is going to be so fun. It's just a VIP event where all you have to do is register. It's completely free. Ryan and I had an amazing day today shopping. So those of you consultants that are on here, I want to just tell you, like, as directors today, we got to go shopping to all of the name brand stores and do some shopping for some ex designer purses and clutches and sunglasses. I wanted to steal them on you all, but we're going to give them away. They're amazing when you see them. <laughs> so she's going to show you some of the prizes and all you have to do is register. This is completely a free VIP event for all of you that kind of follow us and do our tutorials with us. So let's see some of those awesome prizes. Yeah. So here are our super cute aviators. Do you see the little jewels in the corner? Yes, we can. They're awesome. adorable. And the case is super cute that comes with it. Those are Michael Kors. And then this Kate Spade wristlet, perfect for summer parties, festivals, concerts. And then this bag is, this is a big prize. So let me just show you how this, me and Sandy love this one. So look first how super cute it is. It's a quilted like light pink. So look, it looks like a super cute little purse, but check this out. Oh, like. Oh, we love it. So cool. <laughs> I love it. But that's just some of the prizes, but we won't we won't show you all of them tonight. <laughs> yeah, so our Kiss the Summer Hello party is on 
the very first day of summer, June 21st, the longest day of the year. So you should have a couple extra minutes to come on with us. You, all you have to do is register. We posted it in the group before, but we'll post it again after this. It's completely free because you are our VIPs. So that event is just going to be a kiss the summer hello with some beauty summer tips. And we're going to be giving away prizes um, throughout the entire evening. So all you have to do is tune in to YouTube and be able to comment. Ryan, do you want to explain that real quick, how people can comment on YouTube? Yeah. So when you're on YouTube, um, you want to be signed in. Some of you are probably signed into YouTube and you don't know. Um, it's usually like your Gmail account, but you want to be able to see the little comment button. So one you could do is subscribe. Once you get the link, you'll go, you'll subscribe and then you can comment because you want to comment that you're here for the prizes. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Just so everybody knows, we'll give you all those directions again. So, so Ryan and I went shopping and then we went to lunch to discuss how amazing this event was going to be for you all. So that was our day today. And then here we are tonight celebrating you with a dash out the door look. So Ryan's going to go over our checklist now. Yeah, well, how about before we do, we take our before picture because that's the best part when we do our before and after. So we'll do that so we don't we don't forget. Yeah. You know what we forgot to? We forgot to tell them about you stay after. <laughs> so we started to tell you, sorry if we're confusing you. So you can get an extra entry besides registering into that event if you stay on for a few minutes and listen to our pilot program um and our cute little fun story um about a part-time job okay so that's how you can get an extra entry all right so let's all get ready for that awesome ugly before picture that we do so it's yep. so fun. no no, no smiling. smiling okay got our picture <laughs> perfect <laughs> Remember, I go, no jewelry like your hair is not frazzled oh we should have put our hair back but oh yeah well that's okay next time okay so we're gonna show quickly i'm gonna show you the real life version of the products but you're gonna have some of these with you to try tonight and some of you you don't have so this is our dash out the door like so you're first gonna need your cc cream which is um what we've used two weeks ago so you're gonna need your cc cream and then um one of your mascara samples so you may have gotten the ultimate mascara this is the real life version and then a blush sample, which is just a little black square. Um, and then a lip gloss. Yes, a lip gloss. This is the lip gloss I'm going to be using today. But we're also going to be sharing with you our liquid eye shadows. That's a, a bonus that Sandy and I are going to use because that's the great, like the best ultimate or the dash out the door look. So those are your simple products for that. So um, why don't we get started with what they are. So we're going to first start with our foundation because we always need some type of foundation to protect our skin. So you're going to open up your CC cream. It looks just like this. It's black. Um, and you're going to use that all over your face. I'm just putting my moisturizer on to think about it. Okay. So if you girls don't wear moisturizer, the first thing you want to do when you wake up, of course, is wash your face if you're running late with your micellar water or your cleanser. But then you definitely want to put your moisturizer on before you do your CC, because if you only put CC cream on, your face is going to absorb it like moisturizer. So, so Ryan, what are some of the benefits in that awesome CC cream? Yes, the CC cream is like tinted moisturizer. So it's great for quick on the go. Um, it gives you sun protection. So it has SPF 15, but it hydrates your skin. It's just, it feels amazing. It gives you just a little bit of color and it blends. There's only five shades for the whole world. So um, we can kind of look at you and tell you what your, your color is. Yeah, and this actually is a complexion correction. So I'm supposed to give my beauty hack at the end, but I'm going to give it to you now since we're talking about CC cream. So as you're blending this in and you can do a couple layers, like all of our foundations are buildable. And if we're dashing out the door, you can use your fingertips. Ryan and I are using a brush or you can use a brush. I just find it easier to use the brush. You'll get in all the little crevices, especially if you're running late. You don't want to have like <laughs> a non blended spot on your face. So you may want to invest in a little brush like this. We have this foundation one um, that I'm using the slanted one. This one is 14 and the one Ryan is using is 16 and it looks like a big toothbrush. Yeah. That one's so, got like a quarter million brushes. Bristles. It does. So we have a couple questions about 
timing. Um, so we're pretending that we are running 10 minutes late out the door for work or to get the kids to school. We, do you forgot, tell? To the, we forgot to do the contest. Oh, that's right. Okay. Get your CC cream on girls and that's it. Stop after that. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan and I have a fun game for you. We forgot we were going to do this with you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because they were asking, um, aren't you supposed to prime? And you absolutely can in an everyday world, but we're pretending um, we don't have time today. And then Amy asked, she loves CC cream, but it doesn't seem to last all day. Why is that? Oh, um, okay. She so also doesn't use moisturizer. I was just going to ask that, Amy. I was going to ask you, do you use a moisturizer? Because like I just said, like you're, if you don't use moisturizer first, and we have one that's an oil control. I just had a client of mine who was getting oily during the day. So we switched her to combo oily during the day, and she uses normal to dry at night, and that's what I do too. So you definitely want like some kind of moisturizer during the daytime, because otherwise your skin will absorb this foundation as moisturizer and then it won't look as flawless so you definitely want to do that and you may want to maybe do an extra layer and if you noticed i was actually doing for those of you that might have woke up with puffy eyes i don't know if you noticed underneath my eyes were a little puffy and dark so i kind of just stipple a little bit more under my eye area when i want a little bit more coverage this is really great too if you've had a long day at work and you want to come home and just make yourself look fresh because maybe you have to go out, I don't know, shopping or to meet a friend or something, you can just <laughs> apply more of your CC cream right underneath your eyes. It kind of just will brighten everything up. So wherever you want to brighten, like maybe here. So, but it is very hydrating. So I know like this may not be the ideal for you, Amy, like you might want to switch to the matte foundation or maybe you want to make the mousse where you have your um, translucent or your um, mineral powder and you put your CC cream in it, that will give you a little bit better coverage or layer it. Like do this first, cause this has your SPF in it. And then you could put a little bit of your mineral powder over the top and you can layer that a couple of times too. So it depends on your skin type. So I, we can definitely talk to you about what would work best for you, but hopefully any more questions about that, Ryan? Uh, no, no. Okay. So I feel bad because we forgot because we wanted to show you how fast this look really is. So we just took a little more time because we were talking about it. But normally we can do that foundation in like 30 seconds. So, <laughs> so what we're going to do now is tell you the rest of your dash out the door look, but don't put it on yet. We're going to have a face race. We're so excited because we want you to see how fast you can get your face to look like you didn't just roll out of bed. So, <laughs> so we kind of cheated because we have we have our um, foundation on. So we're going to actually do a little timer when we get to this. So we're going to explain it all first and then we're going to do a little face race. All right. So. Our next product is our liquid eye color. So you guys don't have this either. So we're not starting the race yet. But Ryan, which one are you doing, Ryan? I am doing pink starlight. Okay. And I'm going to do one of each color. So we have actually a bunch of colors. We have, um, if you want to brighten your eyes, because usually when you're running late, you want to brighten your eyes. So Ryan's using pink starlight. And I'm going to use, this is called our what is this one called? The light beam? light beam. Light beam. Okay, light beam. This one's called light beam. So it's like whiter. So this is really great if you have dark eyes. You might want to go in the crease a little bit. So what we love about this is it is a cream eyeshadow. So you have this little doe foot applicator that you're going to put it on with. We're just going to go on our lid. And then you can stipple. So we're just doing our eyes. You guys just hang on because we're going to. Are you doing yours, Ryan? Or no? Did I forget something? Are we supposed to do the timer? Well, they don't have eye stuff. So that's Oh, why. that's right. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm doing Sorry. that. Sorry. I didn't mean to confuse you. So you guys don't have this. So Ryan and I are just getting a jump start because we're going to be in the contest with you. But so we're just putting that on. Now you can you can mix and match these colors too. So if you see, they kind of just go on. They're pretty shimmery. They're all shimmery, but they just make your eyes kind of pop out a little bit so that you don't look so tired. And if you want to, you could bring it under your eyes. Like, look at the difference. Like, I don't look so sleepy anymore. Yeah. So this one is a great one. We have a purple Nova. And what's that grayish color? Uh, meteor, sh meteor shower. Ryan knows her colors all the time. 
<laughs> yeah. So, so you guys, this is a great thing as a quick pick me up. I mean, if you look at our eyes, they already look a little bit brighter. So we don't look like we just rolled out of bed. So that those are a must have for those of you that are running late all the time. This is also great to layer your powder colors on and it is waterproof once it gets on your eyelids and dries. Okay. If you see it won't crease on you, but if you see it creasing, that just means you have too much product. Take your finger your ring finger, of course, and just stipple it. We've taught you don't touch your eyes with your other fingers. So you just <laughs> kind of stipple it. All right. And you can layer this too. It's buildable if you want a little more highlight. Okay. I love using that as a layer with my normal eyeshadows. Yeah. This light beam is really good for highlighting too. So <laughs> when you've seen us do some highlighting, this is a great product for highlighting. Just be a little careful with it. You don't want to have too much of that. Okay. All right. So those are your Three, yeah. We have four four colors of those. So you can have a little wardrobe of cream eye colors if you'd like. Um, but that's your second step in our dash out the door, if you choose to. Yep. And then the third is our mascara. Tonight I'm using the Ultimate, which is great for volume and length. Um, what are you using? Are you using volume, Sandy? Yeah. Yeah. I'm using, yeah, whenever I'm in a hurry, I always choose. Me too. Ultimate. Yeah. Because you really don't have to work it and make sure you're really careful with it like it's great it just goes on so nice like if any of you are familiar with our lash intensity it's great but you got to take some time and you know work the brush so this is great for for on the go and then what is the next product they're going to use sandy oh did you um so you guys are going to use your mascara and just like we told you last week i'm sorry i just like to put my foundation over my lips it was bothering me <laughs> I need a little more coverage there. When I put my glasses on, I could see. Um, so do you want to tell them though, Ryan, be before you guys start your look about the other, so maybe somebody might like something different than the volumizing one. Um, we've gone through our mascara wardrobe before, but that might be cool if you want to talk about the other ones. Yeah. I have here. Oh, know? good. I was gonna say, I only have the lash lengthening one um, oh. here, which lash lengthening is great for just what it does. It gives you the length. He is the, the brush. So it's like that looks like a half moon. And then we have the Lash Love formula, which is great for um, definition of your lashes. And that brush is similar to this one, but just skinnier. Yep, there you go. That looks and Donna, like we can see your comments on there. She was asking about that. Um, and then we have the Lash Love in Waterproof, which is the same formula, but just waterproof. All of our mascaras are water resistant, but that's the waterproof. And then we also have our lash intensity, which that brush is amazing. It gives you extreme length, volume definition. It's just amazing. So um, you can layer your mascara. Normally that's what I do, but when I'm in a hurry, just one, one coat of mascara is all that you need. Yeah, lash, that lash intensity is definitely not for you dash out the door people. <laughs> that needs patience and time and dry time. <laughs> so yeah. definitely not for you. That's for like going out and you want to have baboom lashes. Okay, so that one's really good for that. Okay, so that was our mascara. Then we're going to do our cheeks. So you guys should have in your little packet, you should have a little packet of cheek color. And you want to make sure that you pull the... All right, this isn't your exact cheek color, but it looks like this. So you should have a cheek color in your little samples and you can just apply it with a cotton ball today. Or if you're like a good makeup girl, you might have a cheek brush. You can use your cheek brush. So just open that up. Now, if I were you, depending on what color you're picking, you might want to have two open and ready to go since this is a contest. <laughs> you want to use as less time as you can to open up your samples. So when you open up your mascara, okay, you, you can probably do this now if you want to. Remember, we taught you to take all that extra off of there. So you don't, you know, get that ready. If you want to open up your mascara, get all the extra off because you don't want to have that full of mascara when you put it on your eyes. <laughs> um, and then you want to have your cheek color open and ready to go. And the last thing, Ryan, is what? is our lip gloss. So you need a little bit of color for your lips. You can go for a bold, a natural, a neutral. <clears throat> this is our limited edition hopeful lilac color. Now it's very purple, but I will tell you on me, it doesn't look very purple. It just gives me a little bit of color. So since I'm going very um, 
not a lot of makeup on. I love a little color because a lip color totally helps you feel feel better. So um, what color are you using, Sandy? I'm going to use beach bronze today because I feel like being bronzy. I'm the 80s girl. I like to have the bronzy <laughs> stuff. What cheek color are you going to use, Ryan? Um, I'm going to use shy blush. Ooh, me too. That's what I'm using. Yeah, it's a good go-to. Okay, perfect. All right. I had to get my cheek brush. Okay, because this is a race. I'm a good competitor. All right. <laughs> so everyone got your stuff? Say I. I, I got my stuff ready to go. So you're going to start. So we already put our CC cream on. So we kind of gave you a little extra time. Um, so we're going to start when the clock starts. You can start doing your mascara. Go to your cheeks and then go to your lip gloss. All right. And we're going to see how fast a dash out the door look is. Okay. So this is a yeah five minute timer. Okay. Tell me when to hit, hit play. Oh, and what do we want them to do when they're done? When you guys are done, just type in the chat that you're, oh, we wanted you to put what time you're done, right? Is that what time? Yeah, put what time is on the timer that you can see there. Yeah, okay. Ready? Yep. Set. Ready? Set. Go. Go. <laughs> it doesn't, It there's no noise, so. Oh, there's no noise, so we can just keep talking to you. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to lose because I forgot my mirror. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm, gonna... I'm using my cell phone. Okay. And I'm going to lose because I like to spend extra time on my lashes. Okay. <laughs> but I'm late for work, so I need to hurry. Right? Yeah, just one coat of mascara. Do another coat in the bathroom at work. <laughs> Good tip, Ryan. Good tip. Okay. Just All right. Do I'm a just little to look presentable in the office. Yeah, or in case you get pulled over. Okay. So now we're going to do our cheeks. Now, you guys remember we told you where to put your cheek color before. You're going like right along your cheekbone. Don't come any more than two fingers in from your nose and no lower than your nose. Now you're in a hurry, but you don't want to look like you have racing stripes on your face. Okay. So that's why if you're in a hurry, a lighter cheek color is better. Oh, <laughs> someone's done. 412. What? Woo, what? All right, I'm done too. 353. Wow, I'm not done. Okay, I just need to get my look. I took too long with my mascara. <laughs> okay. You don't have time for that today, Sandy. I know. Sorry. Okay, I'm done. All right, perfect. See? Oh, someone else has done it. 353. I love it. Now I put my glasses on so I can see how I really look. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Okay. All right. So done for 12, 353. Awesome. You guys did good. 334. All right. So those of you that probably took a little bit longer with your mascara, I'm with you. Okay. But see, now we don't look like we just rolled out of bed. Listen, there's no need for that. <laughs> Like, yeah, okay, let's take five just, minutes and put some makeup on. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit, okay? There's a difference between natural and raw, okay? <laughs> like, we're all girlfriends here. We don't want to look raw. Okay, so Ryan's got, so what if it's, you're running really late and you don't have time to wash your hair. So Ryan's got a great tip for you as to what you can do just to make your hair look like it's not greasy. So let's tell, let's tell him that, Ryan. Yeah. So my favorite thing is dry shampoo. You know, if you color your hair, you got to do something to extend the color. So we have our naturally exfoliating powder. Now, yes, you can use this as an exfoliator for your face, but I have really oily hair around my roots. So I do this and dry shampoo. But if you're just in a hurry, just do this. So what you're going to do is it looks like baby powder. So you're going to take your hand out careful because it like pours out. So you only need a little bit, right? So then I'm just going to turn sideways so I don't get powder all over my face. <laughs> so because normally I do this in the bathroom. So you just rub your hands together. You look like this, but you can't see. But then you just go like this and you just rub it out. Wherever your hair is really oily, just rub your hands in there and oh. it like absorbs. Now, if you see a white spot, rub it in more but it absorbs all the oil in your hair and it, or it just freshens it up. Do you ever just go throughout the day and sometimes your hair gets a little greasy? Like for me, it's always my roots and my like bang area. So yeah, look at that. Super simple. Fresh and cool. 
I love it. And this is like a dual product because you guys can add this to your cleanser for an exfoliation. It's really designed. Now, listen, that's our beauty hack. That's not a Mary Kay hack, okay? That's our beauty hack. Sandy and Ryan just telling you our own little feedback of how to use this. But this exfoliating powder is from our Naturally line, and you can mix this with any of your cleansers that you have from us, okay? So, and it'll give turn your cleanser into a little more exfoliating. So I asked Ryan to share that with you because her hair always looks amazing. And I know that's one of her beauty hacks. So I have one more hack for you and then we will be wrapping up. So our dash out the door, hopefully that this was a different look than last week, right? It took us a long time, but don't worry. Next week, we're back to more beauty tips. It's going to take a little longer because we're doing your um, customized look based on your eye colors. So my other beauty hack tip is for those of us girls who might have a little gray, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> if you have a little bit of gray in your hair. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. We have this amazing, this is our little brow tint, okay? So if you, I tend to get like really gray around like my forehead area. Look, and I'm going to really be raw with you guys. Oh, and I'm trying to do it backwards. So let's see. Okay. So you guys can use this little brow tint to color those little grays away. Okay, I'm not going to do the whole thing because we have don't have time for that. But just so you know, if you guys have that, you can use that as a little beauty hack for yourselves because I always get like part of my scalp that shows and I hate it because I have dark hair. So this I just kind of use to hide that. Good little okay. beauty tip, huh? Yeah. You know, when your appointment to your hairdresser is running longer than your hair, your hair grew a little faster. That's great. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now the, the kicker, you want to put your jewelry on because look at what a difference jewelry makes. So if you don't want to look like you just rolled out of bed, put a nice pair of earrings on. Ryan is doing a smaller pair than I am. I'm a little bit more big jewelry. So <laughs> I'm putting my big jewelry on so I don't look like I just rolled out of bed. And I'm going to put a necklace on and then we'll take a quick after picture. So that was our dash out the door. Look, look, like literally took three minutes, you guys, three minutes. And we have this great little, we even have this great little roller bag, which we shared with you before that you can keep at home, but you want to keep your dash out the door look in one of these. So if you're running really late, you can do all of that dash out the door when you get to work or in the car. <laughs> at the red lights at the red lights right yeah. okay all right so that about covers for tonight right ryan do we have anything else we wanted to share um well if you want to earn your extra entry into our kiss the summer hello event you're going to want to stay on and you're going to want to put in the magic word when we start so you'll get an extra entry it'll just be like five minutes or less so but take your after pictures and then post them in the group because we love seeing those we love that you guys are sharing these and loving these looks. I mean, you guys look amazing. So we really, we really love it. All right, ready, Cindy? Wow, Ryan, you you look fab. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. All right, perfect. Know? Perfect. Okay. Hey. All right. So again, we'll post ours when we get done here. So thank you ladies for coming on. But if you'd like to stay for five extra minutes and get an entry, um, we will, so when we end, just say, I'm still here. <laughs> and we'll know that you stayed for that. And we'll get you an extra entry into our amazing summer bash that's coming up. All right, so we're gonna start real quick with this is no fairy tale, girls. So if you guys, maybe you don't need extra money, but maybe you know somebody else that needs extra money. So we never like to let a, I can call it a broadcast, right, Ryan? Can I call this a broadcast? Sure. Okay. okay. We never like to let a broadcast go through without sharing the Mary Kay opportunity with you because we don't know where we'd be without this Mary Kay opportunity. So I'm going to tell you quick about a fairy tale story. So um, you may have heard this on our last event that we did, but it's worth repeating because I want the consultants to even hear what this actually really is, this Mary Kay opportunity. Okay, so once upon a time, there was an attractive, ambitious woman. That's you, the attractive, ambitious woman, girl. That's you. So you went into a beautiful store with a reputation for excellent quality merchandise because you're looking for a part-time job. So think about your favorite store right now. Okay, you're looking for a part-time job. 
A lot of people usually pick retail to get into for a part-time job, um, usually your favorite store. Then you're going to spend all your commissions there or your paycheck. But you go into the store and you tell the owner, sir or ma'am, whoever is the manager there, I would like to work for you and I will work really hard. I'll do a great job, in fact. But this is the demands I have to accept the position. Okay, number one, for everything I sell in this store, now I'm going to say mine is, I don't know, uh, Macy's. Okay, so I'm going to Macy's. So everything I sell in Macy's, I want to keep 50% as my profit. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. I'll get others to sell for you too, but I would like to be paid on their commissions. So I have a good friend, Ryan, here, who she'll work here too, but I want part of the commissions that she sells too, um, to your store. And the third thing I want is I'd like to make my own hours and have no quotas. Sometimes I want to work a lot and sometimes I'll work a little. If it's a sunny day, I might not come in. Okay, that's what I would like. <laughs> um, number four, my family must always come first. So if there's a family party or a priority going on, I must do that first rather than show up for work. And when I do well, number five, I would like ample recognition, but I want good bonuses, not little things. I want things like diamonds, trips, and cars. <laughs> I want to be able to promote myself to leadership when I choose to and entirely on my own efforts. I don't want to wait for you to pick out all my goodness, okay? Because I am good and I will <laughs> I will work hard for you. And then I do lastly require a company car, which you'll pay for. And it might have all the bells and whistles, please, with, a, you know, all those great comfy luxuries. Plus, I would like you to pay the car insurance. So these are all the things I want in addition. So if you, if this would fit you, this is a fairy tale and that you think I'm going to get hired there. Um, no, <laughs> but we just like to share that with you because that could be your part-time career with your Mary Kay journey. So those are all of our great benefits. So Ryan's just going to quickly tell you, maybe you just need to try out our pilot program to see if this is something that you would like to do with us. So I'm going to pass it over to you, Ryan. Alrighty, thank you. So yeah, we have our summit, summer pilot program starting. So you might wanna give Mary Kay a try for a month or two. Um, maybe you wanna earn some extra money, maybe not. Um, but if you love it, you could keep going. So the summer pilot program can be a month or it can be two months. Um, and if you love it, keep going. If not, just be a personal smart shopper and get your products at wholesale. If you love your products, you can still order them at wholesale. So how do you get started? How do you get started with the summer pilot program? Two easy ways. The first one is for $30. You can be a beauty consultant for the summer. Um, you get a Mary Kay website and the ability to take credit card payments. So they're shopping online, they could shop with you. And then you have Sandy or myself as your coach to help you. Or if you love your miracle set, you can get the full size starter kit for 130 that has two miracle sets in there, a bag, full size product. It's amazing. You can get either one of those options. Um, and you can have some product on hand and you can demo, um, share products with people. You can invite people to events. It's super easy to work your business virtually or in person, but Sandy and I would be here um, to help you get started. So, um, you might be like, we want, you want to, we want to share with you the six qualities of a successful beauty consultant, because I think we have, we have beauty consultants out there. So the first tip, the first quality, sorry is you might be too busy. Um, busy people get more done. I'm one of those people. I have a lot on my plate. Like I am a single mom. A, um, oh, I own a Mary Kay business. I run my dad's business. Like m people that people that are busy typically are better time managers. And Mary Kay provides full-time pay for part-time hours, which is a bonus. What is the second one? Awesome. So if you're any of these qualities, you can let us know. You might have one quality, two qualities, six qualities, or no qualities, and it's totally fine. We're just looking to see what kind of qualities you guys have out there. And it doesn't mean that you have to start your own Mary Kay business. We just want to make sure that we cover what makes a good beauty consultant. Okay. So one is they're too busy. Two is they're money motivated. Hmm. Not that money is everything, but listen, money is like air. Like we need to have it. Like you need it to live. Not that we have a love of money, but 
we need money to provide us choices, right? So maybe you would do something like this just for retirement. Some people, you know, are at that stage of life where they're getting closer to the end of their job. Um, there's less time there at the back end than there is the front end. And now maybe you want some extra money for retirement, maybe to buy a retirement home or something like that. Maybe you want to remodel your house. Maybe you're sending your kids to college and you need some extra money for college. Maybe you just want to go shopping and never look at a price tag. Maybe you want to go on a vacation and you want to be able to afford a luxurious vacation. So um, if you're money motivated, that's our second quality. What's the third one, Ryan? The third one is you're not the sales type. So our product is a consumable product. So every night you wash your face with Mary Kay and it goes down the drain and you run out of it and then you need some more of it. So you by you um, having a consumable product, you're ensuring a strong reorder business, which the best beauty consultant likes to work with people. So that is the third option. Yes. And the other, the fourth quality of a successful beauty consultant is da -da 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 -da. she doesn't know a lot of people. Yeah, that is a successful quality. You know why? Because, because everyone thinks, oh, my friends and family are going to be so supportive of what I do. And my mom, when I first came into Mary Kay, she told me I was in a cult, the pyramid scheme. She told me to run as fast as I could because they were going to take all of my money. And then when I earned my car, she said, honey, I always knew you could do it. <laughs> so she changed her tune after that. But I had to I had to show her that it worked. So a lot of people get this misconception that because, you know, you, you can count on friends and family, that's really not what it is. So even if you don't know anybody, I've moved four times since I've been building my Mary Kay business. And each time I had to build clients. And at first I thought that was a bad thing, but it actually was a great thing because I didn't have this false sense of hope. So if you don't know a lot of people, this is great because we can help you meet a lot of people. And number five is what? That is family oriented. So women are known to do much more for them, their family than they do for themselves. And if you're a mom, you can totally attest to that. So Mary Kay offers the freedom and flexibility to have more time for your family to our priorities are faith first, family second, and career third. So you can attend all of your kids' events. Like I attend Bianca swim events, anything. So you prioritize your life and fit those into when you want to. So no need to say, hey, boss, can I have off for my daughter's dance recital? You're the boss and you can decide that. <laughs> That's really important. Like, I know a lot of our a lot of our clients have a lot of kids or grandkids, and it's really important to be there for. They grow up so fast, and I remember when I worked my full time job, a, a key motivator for me to pursue Mary Kay was my coworker had kids. I didn't have kids at the time, and her kid was having a play, and she wasn't allowed to leave work, and she sobbed the entire rest of the day. And I was begging my boss. I'm like, listen, give her my personal time. I don't care. They're like, no, she's out of personal time. She can't go. I'm like, this is. Awesome. And that was my deciding factor that I was never going to let someone control my time. So, and the sixth thing is, so we're curious to see how many of the six did you have? Um, the sixth thing is your decision maker. And we always honor decision makers with our pink ice rings. So after hearing um, what we just shared with you tonight, if your beauty consultant agreement goes into Mary Kay and you get accepted by the company and you order your starter kit within 24 hours, which would be 840 tomorrow, you will get this amazing pink ice ring in the little box which is more amazing i think than the ring i love it because we're all little princesses and you deserve to have a, a chair like that right all right so that's about it ryan told you how we get started and the other just important benefits are it's risk-free okay you can get out as easy as you got in it's not like having a baby or getting married if you decide you don't like it go back to being our clients we love that <laughs> so um the second thing is there's no quotas or territories um no glass ceilings so you can work as much or as little as you want to. We have prizes weekly, monthly, yearly from Mary Kay. And the last important thing is no territories. In a virtual world, that is so important. So, but thank you all for, for being with us tonight and doing our dash out the door look. So hopefully next time you wake up late, we're gonna be the first person you think about and you're gonna say, okay, I don't have to look like I just rolled out of bed. I'm still gonna look amazing, <laughs> right? All right, girls. So hopefully you had fun with that tonight. We just wanted to have a little bit of fun showing you that it doesn't take a whole lot of time. And you guys are getting to be pros week after week after week. We're showing you these new tips. So we're excited about next week for your customized look, but it'll take a little bit more time. Okay. <laughs> but we'll have fun for sure. All right. Bye, -bye ladies. Bye.